Hello guys, uh, welcome to our Python internals tutorial series. Uh, my name is Shako, I'm Azerbaijan Python user group leader. And uh, on behalf of our user community, I'm going to <coughs> record video series about Python internals, but doing some silly things. We are going to add uh, useless features to the Python source code and explore it uh, internally. Uh, but first of all, you need to grab uh, your very own Python source code. Uh, in particular, the C Python, which is a, um, a default Python interpreter. So they have this nice Python developer's guide. You should follow it, fork the C Python repository on your GitHub account, and uh, it will show up like your username, uh, the GitHub username, and the name of the forked uh, repo. Then you should clone it, put uh, the username here, and go ahead to the, the Python, uh, CPython folder where you have cloned it. Uh, run the configure with PyDebug, it will enable, uh, uh, I'd say, debug symbols, uh, which is crucial uh, <coughs> while mm, doing some development uh, on uh, a Python uh, project, CPython project. And then run, run the make command, it will compile the binary version of your very own uh, Python. As you see, I am in uh, my folder, CPython. I have already uh, done these steps, and now I have my copy of uh, the Python, which is the latest one, 3.9. Uh, and that's it. So, <coughs> the simple steps, you will have your own uh, Python uh, interpreter located uh, inside the, the C Python folder. Uh, and in this video, so it's, it's rather short, in this, in this video we are going to explore the integer type or the typing, uh, how they uh, uh, wrote the integer type internally in Python. And to, to, in order to start, like k equal 5, it has type. So this is a integer type, but it has also the type if you wrap up. So this is uh, the type of the integer is a type type. <laughs> this kind of thing. And uh, if you even wrap up, uh, nothing changed. So there's a something uh, self-referenced. Uh, internal. So let's explore what's in it. Uh, if you fire up the VS Code, <coughs> and this is the uh, in, inside the CPython uh, the folder. I'm using VS Code. You can use whenever you want. So well, I'm not going to explain uh, what each this folder, uh, the meaning of this of these folders. Uh, we will learn on the way. But in general, the types, the objects, are stored in the objects folder. So they have the bool object, which is a boolean type. Uh, they have definitely maybe dict object, which is implementation of the dictionary in Python. Float object, implementation of the float. But there's no <coughs> int, uh, int object. It's a long object, see. So, the long object, see, they have uh, such implementation. So all uh, integer is a pylon type. So it has uh, the pi var object head in it, which is stored is object age, which is required a type object. And this is a pi type type. So if you remember, there's a type, 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 there's a pi type, type, which is as the self-reference inside it. And uh, the name of the type, the TP name that located here, which we saw here. So, and the name of the type is int because its TP name is int. So some kind of unique features of uh, the integer type uh, in Python. It's not the iterable 
So as you see, there's a TP eater equal zero. That means that you can't, uh, you can't, for example, run the four in K, for example. So int object is not iterable. And in the future, we will explore uh, inter uh, deeply uh, why it's not iterable. So, but the sum of the features of the integer type that it's that zero, then they have not implemented the iter next, the iter, I don't know if uh, tp dict, there's, everything is um, a zero here. But it has long as number, so tp as number, it's kind of uh, what this number can do. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, if you want to add some number, this is nb add <coughs> action, which is uh, called a long a. So, subtraction, multiplication, mod division, <coughs> and xor or everything else like is stored as uh, long as number and. It has a reference to TP as number. That's uh, as an integer type internally created, actually. And this is our first video, so I'm not going to uh, to make it long. But keep keep in the mind that there's a pylon type, which is a, a creating, uh, which is a um, creating a <coughs> integer type from the C type. We can see it, uh, we can see it, let me just, the my notes, we can see it from line, line, uh, okay, let me just grab, grab this, two, 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 and, so there's a pylon new object and uh, allocate a new int object with size of digits, number of bytes needed and the pylon copy. No, there's a create uh, pylon from one. So this is the case. So create a new int object from a C long int. So our integer int type is a subtype of the C long integer. So this is how they implemented. Uh, our <coughs> our integer type, but all the features are in pi pi long type pi long type. All the features of the integer type are stored here. So. This is a pi type object, so everything is an object, and everything, uh, every single object has a type on it. It has also the <coughs> reference to the garbage collector, uh, the point mm, uh, in order to decrement and uh, the riff count actually to the garbage a decrement and increment the riff count. But we will explore it uh, in the future videos. So this is the and the and the next in the next video we are going to uh, uh, use these C types here, the C code, in order to add two integers. That's all for now. But uh, see you in the next video. So bye.